I have like no one to vent to anymore, so I'm just gonna vent. And the dog's gonna interrupt me. Excuse you. Excuse you. No, excuse you. exactly what happened with Dolls Kill, but I want to clear the air. Hey everyone, welcome back to your favorite clothing review channel called Dare Wears. I'm going to talk about the tea between me and Dolls Kill. Many of you that are longtime subscribers will remember that Dolls Kill used to be a pretty regular featured video on my channel where I would talk about products that they would send to me and how wonderful they were. And we seem to have a pretty good rapport going on until we did it. I visited Dolls Kill's website once again on Black Friday because I wanted to get a deal on some of their really cute clothes. So I am going to be trying on some of their stuff. Well, filling you in on the tea that happened to me when I used to be a sponsored Dolls Kill channel. Let's talk about it. After one quick Google search, you can quickly find that Dolls Kill has been in a lot of controversy over the years. One article straight out the gate says, Dolls Kill is killing its image with murky practices. Sally Dolls Kill rebellious spirit has led the brand to be criticized on social media for its position on the Black Lives Matter movement, questionable t-shirt lines, and allegedly stealing ideas from smaller designers. As from somebody who's witnessed a lot of these controversies, the one that I really do recall was during the Black Lives Matter movement, they were one of the first brands to post on their Instagram in a cryptic message with armed gunmen outside of their shop, basically saying that they were excited to see that there were armed gunmen outside of their shop. They quickly, the owner hopped on a live stream to try to clear up, try to say that they were happy that the movement was going forward and that there were armed forces to keep people safe when it really didn't seem that way in the cryptic post. But I digress, they also have sketchy history with me, which I would like to delve into because because I know a lot more about that than I do about their past controversies. Although I will say this didn't stop me from shopping on their website on Black Friday. I just don't shop on their website as much anymore. I wanted to test their products now that I won't have a biased opinion on it anymore. One of the things that Dolls Kill does is when you are a sponsored creator for them, you are not allowed to say anything negative about the clothing. They will tell you to edit out those clips if there is something that makes their clothing seem uh, not hundred percent perfect. They want you to say the name Dolls Kill a certain amount of times in the video and and of course they want the video to be 10 minutes long, include your link, so that way they can keep track of how many sales your video promotes for them. Pissing me off so bad I can't stand it. That's not uncommon for them to have those practices. Although I don't agree with them saying that you're not allowed to give any criticism. I've stopped accepting brand deals from companies that are like that. I don't feel like that that's okay. There's always gonna be ups and downs with certain products, whether the zipper is difficult or the fabric is itchy. Yeah, let's get to the Dolls Kill Tea. First things first, we're gonna start off with the Delicate Beauty Under Bust dress in this blue color from Sugar Thrills. If you watched any of those videos from me back in the day, you'll know that Sugar Thrills was a huge hit on my channel. I really loved the quality of the outfits. So what Dolls Kill does is that they buy out a brand like Sugar Thrills and then they sell that brand's products on their website. Uh, I think they're perfect up my alley and the type of outfits that I would wear daily. Super excited to try this one on. I've been getting into a lot of dresses that have like the under bust because I think it's a more interesting look. Although I'm always concerned about core setbacks because sometimes they don't fit very well, but luckily they are adjustable. I'm also gonna pair it with the I Am No Angel chiffon top which should look really cute together. That's very see-through. It's got a corset back, very cute. Let's try it on and get to the story time. All right, let's try her on. I didn't think this was gonna look that good on me and now I, I just, <laughs> I just like, I'm living. I cannot, I cannot. Why does this look so good on me? Wow, what a spectacular fit. Okay, so I'm gonna rate this shirt and this dress. Perfect 10 out of 10, Sugar Thrills, hit me up. I love your clothes, they are amazing. Now let's get to the Dolls Kill Tea. Once upon a time, not long ago, I was a hoe. Just kidding. Uh, once on a time, uh, Dolls Kill loved everything that I had going on in them. And this was like a couple years ago. So this is when I was like newer on the platform. And they sent me a little email being like, hey girl, we love your YouTube channel. We would love to sponsor you and come up with like a monthly collaboration. And I, at the time, was so down to collaborate with a brand. It was a very popular brand. It still is very popular. I said yes, of course, right away when I was a new influencer on the scene here on YouTube. I'm gonna save the rest of the story for the next outfit. I'm angry that this looks so good. 
Ooh. Not really, I'm actually really happy. Next is a two-piece set that you have to buy separately on Dolls Kill called the Fang Fairied Brocade Underbust Corset and the Fang Fairied Brocade Mini Skirt. So this is the mini skirt. This color is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, I am loving all the textures and the layers of this. Very cute. I hope it fits me quite well. This is from the company called Widow. Um, they are pretty known for their gothic looks. Really love the size of this top. Like I think that's gonna be really flattering on me and I'm trying out that underwire look again so hopefully it makes the girls look very nice who gave dolls kill the audacity to make such cute clothes ah, i'm obsessed i'm obsessed with this entire look i'm gonna give this a perfect dare wears 25 out of 10 because this look is incredible i'm living for it it's very comfortable very cute the detail is like above and beyond i need an event to wear this too now back to our little story doll school asked me to become a creator for them so i signed a contract that basically said i will abide by certain rules in their youtube videos it was things kind of like mentioning the name x amount of times in the video no negative criticism about any of the outfits and basically like making sure that like obviously the brand name is spelled correctly and that they would send me one box per month and I would create a YouTube video out of that box. Honestly, things were going great. I was like four months in, I was creating amazing content with it. Everything was going great so far. I didn't understand why other creators were having issues with Bell's Kill. Then is when we hit our first bump in the room. But I'm gonna leave you right there while I open up the next outfit. Let's keep opening up some of these amazing outfits. Next is the made to rest dress. We've got this really cute, beautiful collared billowy shirt and it comes with really cute like jumper looks very nice i got it in small so hopefully it will fit quite nice on me let's try it on i will say i do like this one i just don't like love it like i'm not obsessed with it like i was the other two outfits so far i don't know i i probably would still give this like a solid seven i like the undershirt a lot i think it's really cute and i do still like the skirt with the uh suspenders i just think with the way like with my bust it just looks a little like awkward like it doesn't fit me very well it's really cute i love the light fabric now i'm four months into my contract with dolls kill randomly one day they just decide to not send me an email and ask for my sizes so i just figure like you know sometimes things happen where like they get busy i get busy so i just kind of like overlook it and then like the next month i still get my email and everything's fine but i start to notice a pattern that they're like not really up keeping as much with me as they did when they first signed me. So I'm kind of starting to notice them just falling off a little bit. And I started emailing them being like, hey, just wondering, like, are we sending a box this month or are we not? So that way I can plan for my content. And that was the biggest reason I wanted to know is that like, if they were gonna send me a box, I need to know to make the time to not only film, but to pick the objects out of like the haul that they give me, but then also to like pre-schedule my YouTube videos, I needed to know. So and that way I could make sure that I even saved a video to put in that month. Let's check out some of the other outfits that are in the bag. Next is the Sugar Thrills Rag to Riches hoop skirt, which I just bought this as like a guilty pleasure because it looked really cool. Oh, it is so bent. <gasps> oh no. Obviously I'm not just gonna be wearing the hoop skirt on its own. All right, let's try it on. I know I just gave the skirt some really harsh criticism, but I looked inside the bag it came in and uh, there's actually a little card that says what to do if your hoop skirt is bent. So just disregard any of the uh, criticism I gave the hoop skirt, okay? Well, not any of the criticism, just the bent part. The next item that we're reviewing is not the beautiful white dress I'm wearing, but this lovely pink hoop skirt that I have over top. It's really pretty and it's a very lovely look. I'm glad I got it because I know I can get a lot of use out of it, but there's a huge dent in the front of it. Like, do you see that? Like, I think I could just like bend it back, but I'm scared. I don't want to break any of the really beautiful like detailing they have on here. Like, do you see all these little flowers on here and the ribbons? Also, I don't think you're supposed to wear it over a dress like I'm currently wearing it. I think you're supposed to wear an accent to like a linguini set. So that way you can see the undergarments, the top, and then this really beautiful hoop skirt. So gorgeous. Sugar Thrills does it again. I 
hope I can get that dent out. Um, currently, I'm sitting at like a 7.5 on the hoop skirt with the dent in it, but I, I have a feeling I can get it out if I just work on it. Um, if I could get it out, I would give it a perfect 10 out of 10. So here's hoping the dent will go away. Now let's get back to the tea. So Dolls Kill has now a couple of times forgotten to send me boxes. So I email them being like, hey, just curious if I'm getting a box or not, like what's really going on? They email me back saying like, oh, we're so sorry. Like things just got like really busy. Like, please continue to keep, you know, creating content and I'm like down. I'm like so jiggy with it. I'm like, you know what? I get it, like mistakes given. I now am starting to see though, like why other influencers in the past were saying that Dolls Kill has had some like bumps in the road. But I was still so willing to work with them because one, they were paying me. Two, it was free products. It was free clothes that I didn't have to spend my money on for dare wears. Like a lot of these hauls, people don't know that I spend thousands of dollars to get like really amazing outfits. Every view I'm getting like a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a cent, which is fine, I'm not complaining about, but I way overspend for this channel more than what I make on this channel. Luckily for me, I have a Patreon and an only flapjacks where I can wear some of these amazing outfits on. So it all comes back full circle. So the fact that I had a sponsor that was willing, I was so grateful to even be like on their list. So I was willing to overlook where they didn't send me a box. However, Christmas is when it all came to a head. But let's check out the next item. The next item I'm gonna be trying on is also a doubled set here. Club X Ace Rude Awakening Short and Rude Awakening Harness Bra Top. I actually was a part of a show where a designer made something very, very similar to this. And she has designed not only for herself and for runway shows, but also for big celebrities. So I have a theory that Dolls Kill actually stole this look from that designer. Now they're using obviously different materials, but the designer I saw that made stuff very similar to this used tennis shoes. We're gonna give this a try, try it on, see what we think about. Oh, why even? I don't know how to feel about this outfit. I'm gonna think about it while I continue the rest of the Dolls Kill saga. So Christmas comes around and Dolls Kill, like they've been like missing four packages leading up to this. They send me an email being like, do you want a Christmas box? And I said, yes, let me know what the selections are. I would love to make a choice. Christmas rolls around and I got no box and I had waited for the box for content. Like I had a video hole, like I'd been very patient with them. Christmas rolled around and I didn't get a box, I was kind of like, what's really going on here? But then Dolls Kill had the audacity to release this person. It's not the company, it's whoever was in charge of the social media creators. They asked me for a box. I didn't get one, so I didn't make the content. I made my own content instead, uploaded it, and then they had emailed me saying, where's your video? We haven't seen a video from you in months. That I was just shocked that they spoke to me and emailed me in that manner. I was like, I had had it at that point. Wow. Ooh. But um, now that I've had time to kind of think about this outfit, I'm gonna go like a 6.5 out of 10. It's not really doing anything for me. It's a cool concept. There's just something missing. Like it's just not, I don't know. I feel like it's not bad, but it's not like amazing. Maybe if I got a different color, I'd feel better. I don't know if it's just the fact that I know I've seen a smaller artist do this outfit and do it better. Maybe that's where I'm coming from at this, but I don't know. I just, I don't love it. But you know, I do still have one more outfit left. So let me go open up that one and wrap up this spicy Dolls Kill tea. And last but not least, we have another two piece set, but this one's gonna be some linguine, so bear with me. This is the Lovesick Charm Garter Belt. Art of the Swoon Linguine set in small light orange peach. Honestly, I was really surprised this came with a pair of bottoms. I truly didn't think it did because it didn't say on the website if it was gonna come with a pair of bottoms. So this is Sugar Thrills again. Of course, anything with fun color is Sugar Thrills. And this is the girl de, the girl de set. Oh, 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 the girl de. Girl de, the girl de set. Oh, 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 the girl de. Very pretty, very tangly. Hope it's easier to put on than it is to untangle. And the bustier top, the corset top, beautiful. Wow, that's really nice, actually. I was gonna be unimpressed, but now I'm impressed. This also comes with a pair of garters. 
kind of confused here. Thought these came together. The website made it seem like it. We're gonna try them on all together and see what we think. I, I don't know how I feel about it. I like the top, but the garter is a little weird. So these came with these bottoms, but then this top came with these bottoms. I would rate this bottom maybe like a four out of 10. So I'm gonna jump into these really quick so that way you can see both pairs. And I'm back with another set of bottoms. I like these ones a lot better. I think this is a little bit more flattering on me. 10 out of 10 for these babies. And I really like the top with it. I think it just goes really well together. I ended up emailing the recruiter that I had had the entire time. And I asked her if there was any way that I could talk to another recruiter or somebody higher up at the company basically then slapped me with a new contract that basically said I was guaranteed nothing anymore going forward. Dolls Kill would still possibly work with me, but I was not guaranteed on a month to month basis anymore. And basically after I signed that contract, I never received another email and another opportunity to work with them again. I'm not bitter about the whole experience, but I definitely was very shocked to see this all happen. It was eye opening. It was very eye opening for me. I feel very conflicted to be honest. I was very bitter when I first looked at the Dolls Kill website because I am now very well aware of all their controversies as a company. And I had had my own personal experience where they did not treat me very well as a content creator. But I found myself always being attracted to Sugar Thrills collections and their branding absolutely obsessed with you. You create incredible, incredible products. I just wish Dolls Kill would have treated me better in the past. Obviously I was willing to put that aside on Black Friday. I bought all these items and I really liked them. I guess my overall experience with Dolls Kill is I just think I'm gonna wait for sales to come up and not pay for anything full price because the full price is a little ridiculous for some items. One other quick little thing I did notice while looking at the website is I feel like the hype for Dolls Kill is going down because typically when they have Black Friday sales, they would sell out of my size really quickly, which is like small and extra small. And this is like what, a couple weeks after Black Friday? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know this one's a little bit long, but I do think it's important for me to get my side of the story out there and and also to be honest about the garments that I do currently now have. Don't forget to leave a like and comment on which outfit was your favorite. And let me know what other brands you would like me to test out here on the Dare Wears YouTube channel. I missed my glasses there. Can't wait to see you guys in the next upload and stay awesome and stay fashionable. Bye everybody. See